Uh, this is part two of Empire Type War, Cherokee Nations. And in this video, I will show you how to get marked. Easy as that. Uh, also in this or in those videos the Empire ones uh, there will be multiplayer battles uh, there's one recently that's between me and Virus of WSGC and we're against uh, Native Americans and Indians in the subcontinent and that's quite a good battle. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, come on, load. Alright, as you can see, this is a small battle. Four units, got four archers and three melee. I was yeah. Uh, yeah, I still end up playing this like um, medieval total war when I'm using a race like this where I I put archers behind my melee units while they're in combat then my archers can still fire the men and I still I use these tactics in this which is wrong because of the muskets outrange and Are just generally better than the bows. They, they, they win, which is not good. Uh, as you can see, they started running towards my men, and my lions haven't been able to assemble. Oh, and they're accidentally running away. That's not good. But you can also see that I've selected my general and one squad of um, melee infantry I think they're just they might be warrior class or they're just like a militia group but yeah here you go I wanted to try and get behind because I've only got that one lot or uh, one squad of cavalry if I go them head on they're just gonna die really quickly then I'll lose my general my men will rout end of that battle so but that's also why I put a squad of melee units there is just to give them a little bit more defense and you can hear my bows firing in the trees hopefully they're d doing damage I presume they are but yeah they're also sending their bowmen relatively close which is not good because they're just going to well, they actually might end up doing worse. Oh, and there you go. I believe my general dies straight away. Surprise, surprise. Nothing new there. 
and that is not what you want it to happen in the battle as you can see my squads are already starting to route either that or it's just a flag confusing me right what's going on oh there's one oh no all my infantry are running including my general it's just my archers left now and they're not going to survive that long against the enemy that's a pain in the ass there you go one squad left it's not routing still firing away oh no my general unit's still in there fighting oh no now it's running away and at this point I thought I'd lost the battle and I still do I believe but at this point everyone was just running away and then I realised they hadn't run that far I'm so used to playing Empire where units will only route if there's less than 50 so it was all tactics that I had to change to but if you're watching this you'll probably think I suck or that I can't play very well well I have a clip coming up soon or a video that proves it different hopefully as I was definitely outnumbered and my buddy had died but no, that's how I wait for you to see that uh, yeah those <laughs> just trying to get those horsemen so they don't flank from my rear or else they'll end up they will route my units and at this point I just was like bowmen aren't going to do anything so just use them as melee and uh, then I thought take my take their bowmen out with my infantry that's behind them and hopefully it, they might be able to sneak up on them but I believe I started this fight outnumbering them and it's quite annoying that most of my units are seasoned uh, they're not just fresh spawn they've got like at least okay it may only be one rank but that's still a rank I think I at this point I completely forgot that my general had stopped routing even though he's dead but and now those lances are retreating which is good it means I've only got one squad of cavalry of theirs to worry about and there's oh no I've realised that they've got and now I'm sending them in just trying to get them up on the hill so they can d have a run at them if, if they don't run they don't seem to do as much damage as they can that's why just putting them on a hill is deadly sometimes. It, it looks like my men have overrun them on the uh, right flank, which is good. It means as they're only bowmen, they're holding their own, which is annoying because mine don't. Uh, again, this is this. I think this is only on hard, so it's not that shouldn't be that difficult so at least that's another those bowmen are routing and my cavalry come in come on yes just if I can get them to stop firing that means that they can't do any damage and they're running they're not they've stopped now my try to take out their general if I can't it's not the end of the world but I don't think I do I think he manages to flee they should uh, definitely be more like Rome rather than what they're like in Empire because in Rome, you or even medieval as well, you can, uh, 
you they can last for a long time on their own against almost anything in medieval I think you can get a trait which is unkillable in battle which is very overpowered oh you can see all my squads are routing apart from these bowmen which is annoying 77 78 people left in those squads So I think I've lost this battle. I don't know. At this point, everyone's running away, which is not good. But my bowmen are still in there, just trying to take them out. Oh, I believe the uh, the only place I've seen the trait unkillable in battle in Medieval 2 was on the Westeros Total War mod, which is a really good mod. It changes it to a song of ice and fire adds the heroes some units there it is only in beta at the moment but it is good and the final like product what they're trying to do the screenshots they released look nice Also in these videos, I'll probably end up talking about other things like Game of Thrones or The Walking Dead as they are really good well, books and comics because that's where I, f well, I watched the first episode of both of them and then, oh, close to feet, nothing different there, um, and then bought the book and then read all five of of them and they're amazing and I can't wait f for the later seasons that haven't been filmed yet like uh, spoilers what's going to happen at the wall and who comes and saves them and then the walking dead as well I uh, love the comic and that's going to be good to see how they're going to do that as well with uh, So that battle didn't go so well. I I don't think I lost any units. But, oh well. What I've decided to do as well is I wanted to have a proper battle in this. Just sh show what it's like, the nat a large Native American army versus... Uh, like a colonial army I think I've gone against Spanish trying to get Florida see if we can get Disneyland going a little bit earlier just trying to oh there's a few men left in that squad and yeah at the moment I think what I was going to try and do is not go to war with the 13 colonies in England because the 13 colonies got the naval back and power of England but it can field quite a few troops itself and as I've only got three provinces next to like one army they would kill me really quickly even the Iroquois have come in and started and well they're doing damage to me but still just moving it on right so the Cherokee not the Cherokee I'm the Cherokee the Iroquois have come further into uh, into my territory just trying to beef it I don't know what they're trying to do. I think they're just trying to make me lose money. Uh, as you can see, the Iroquois have tried to beef again, 
but I've got a little bit more units th this time. Some of them are still the remnants of the last battle, but let's see how it goes. But if you like these videos, subscribe and whatnot. If you don't, don't have to watch them. It's a good thing about YouTube. Come on, this is the worst thing. Got an amazing computer. Yeah, it's still slow to load, and it's a snowball. But as you can see, most of my units aren't full or damaged. But yeah, putting them on the flank on the top of the hill. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, and I should be putting part three up soon.